Ahoy, mateys, and welcome to Henderson at Home Edition. My name is Captain Aaron, this is Perry, and this is Perrington. And today, we are going to teach you a little bit about pirates. Now, the first thing you need to know in order to become a pirate is to learn a little bit of the pirate lingo. I've got some words here that I want you to learn. Ahoy! And I want you to do this in your very best pirate accent. Ahoy! That means hello. The next word, me hearties or mateys. You probably know this one as well. Friends. So if you put the two together, ahoy me hearties, ahoy mateys. Let me hear it. Pretty good, we'll keep working on it. Arr. That means, yes, when you agree, arr. Oh, one of my favorites. Shiver me timbers, or blimey. That's what you say when you're surprised. Oh, and nothing speaks to your heart like the briny deep, the ocean, where a pirate really, really, truly lives. Next, the Jolly Roger, and you real pirates out there will know that this is what we call our pirate flag. Another favorite, I bet you can't guess what this means. Var she blows. What does it mean? It means you've spotted a whale. Savvy? Do you understand? That's what you say to your matey when you ask him a question. Savvy? Another one of my favorites. It's what you tell your little brother when he's cheating at cards. You call him a horn swoggle. It means he's a cheat, a dirty rotten cheat. And finally, another one of my favorite insults. Lily livered, which is what you call your sister when she won't dive off the deep end. She's a lily livered coward. I want you to take your time today and try to use at least three pirate words on your family. Savvy? Good job. Let's get down to the crafts. Our first craft today in order to become a pirate is you must have a pirate's look to you. So you've got a nice nifty picture that you're gonna color, cut out and glue together so that you too can have your own. Pirate, what do you think of that, Perry? Ah, I love it! Perfect. Next, in order to be a real pirate, you need your own Jolly Roger. Do you remember what that means? Aye. It means the pirate flag. Now, when many people think of the pirate flag, they think of a skull and crossbones. Many times pirates would use the Jolly Roger in order to scare off other ships, so they tried to make it real scary, their flags. But I think our flag should be made of something that's important to us. So, you're gonna get this piece right of your fabric, and I want you to draw on it something very deep to your heart, something important. Just like me and Perry and Parrington, we made our good old Jolly Scoobs, the fiercest pirates we ever did meet. Next, what you're gonna do is you're going to grab, oh, you're gonna get a little stick that comes with it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna glue the side of the stick, and then you're just gonna wrap the sides of the flag onto it and you'll have your own pirate flag. I don't have the stick on me. You'll have to find the one in your kit. All right. And the most important thing that a pirate needs is the pirate map. Because what is a pirate without treasure? So I've made a little detailed map for you of a treasure I've hidden in my life. This is my dear old map. And if you look at the center of it, it says, for this treasure unique, three keys you must seek. Now, a treasure map is not just a map of treasure, although it may sound like that. It also tells a story, a journey of pirates. And that is really what a pirate is. He's a storyteller of adventure. 
And that is what I did. I hid three keys on my map. One here in the Emerald Forest. One here in the Mountains of Despair. And another here on Rocky Point. In order to gather our treasure right here on No Man's Land and open it, we need those three keys. The problem is, we also have a cove of monsters we must go through and pass through the deadly South Sea. And finally, we have our ship right here that can't go any further past the No Man Islands. And that is the story told here in this pirate's map is the journey of how me and my men had to battle through all of these monsters and creatures in order to get to our treasure. And I want your map to be something similar. So let me teach you a little bit about map making. The first thing you need to do is get your piece of orange paper and you're gonna need to cut it. And you're gonna need to shape it into whatever you want it to look like. It seems that Miss Erin has lost her scissors. Where did she put them? You don't see my scissors? Oh, there they are, sorry. I thought I was more prepared for that. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is take your paper and we're gonna cut it into any shape you like. And it's okay if it tears because it looks more piratey like mine does. So we're gonna cut it into any shape we like. Any dilly dallying shape. Make it look really old looking because all the best pirate maps look old. It can be big, it can be little, it can be whatever you want. Really make it have a good figure. All right. What I'm gonna do this last part is I'm gonna tear it like someone already took half of my map away. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna crinkle it into a ball. It'll help me look real old. And you're gonna undo it and crinkle it again. Until it'll look real old. Oh yes, got pieces flying everywhere. All right, look at that beauty. Look at that ripped. There's a story in itself. Does someone have the other half of my map? Give it a few little good looks. That looks good. All right, next what you're gonna do is you're gonna think of your story. What is this treasure? How many islands are there? How do the pirates get there? Are there keys hidden? What's going on here? So I want you then Make up your islands, draw them out like I did. Give them names like I did. I've got the black caves down here at the bottom, a bitter lake, even quicksand quilly. These are the bridge islands, the cliffs of insanity. I stole that from Princess Bride. If you've never heard of it, it's a great film. I want you to really give character to your islands. Give it a story, like I said. A cove of monsters, have some real adventure in there. Don't make it easy to get the treasure. And then I want you to draw the lines. Where are your pirates going in order to get there? And color it in, make mountains and lakes and quicksand like I did, anything you want, rivers and bridges and trees and all of these wonderful things. Finally, when you've colored it all in and you've written the names and things like that, you're also gonna have some of these big pieces that you can glue on. You might have a whale, maybe some fishies, or a ship that you can name, like my beautiful Bertha. That's the name of my ship. I let parents name it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna finally glue them on. And finally, you will have your own pirate map. And you will officially be a pirate. So do you have it in ya? Arr! Say it back with me. Arr! I am a pirate. Good job, lads and lassies. Thank you for joining us again for this wonderful video. And check out our other ones on the Home Edition page. And don't forget to sign up for the Summer Reading Challenge. Savvy?